Hello, hello, hello. Everything Pisces. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you guys in advance. You already know what it is, my loves. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit, and get comfortable, because we're about to make it do what it do loves. This is a general read, Pisces All Placements, Cross Watchers, and non Pisces. You guys are more than welcome here. Um, you do not have to be a Pisces to get a, a message here, guys, okay? So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you need to flip it or switch it around for your story, feel free to do that, okay? So we're going to jump into this read. Guys, please hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. It helps to push the videos. It helps to get more Pisces or just other people to see the videos. Um, I know I haven't posted a lot lately because I've been posting, posting, posting. And you guys are watching the videos, but you guys won't like the video. So I'm going to stop breaking my neck. To get y'all content out since you guys don't want to reciprocate the same energy. It don't take nothing to hit the thumbs up, babies, okay? I'm over here breaking my neck to get y'all three, four, five videos out every day. And come live and keep the other channels up. And y'all not... Y'all just want to watch. And I don't feel that's fair. So I'm going to stop putting as much energy into it. I'm still going to post. But I'm just not going to break my neck for you guys anymore. Because you guys act like you don't care. This is hard work, whether it feels like or you think or not. It takes a lot out of you if you're for real. If you're a real reader. Everybody ain't real out here. But it, it drains you to connect. And it takes a lot. I, I'm not asking y'all to book no personal. I'm not asking y'all to spend no money. If you do, that's fine. All I'm asking you to do is hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't hit it yet, just hit it now. Thank you. And I'm not begging for thumbs up. I just feel like it's fair exchange is never no robbery. Confirmation. God just said it. Fair exchange is never a robbery. So the first card out for you, Pisces, is it's time to release negativity. So if you've been holding on to anything negative, um, speaking negativity, still holding on to things that people did to you in the past that hurt you that you have not let go of spirit says it's time to let go some of you guys could be dealing with a scorpio or you could be a scorpio watching something could be significant about this next full moon coming here yeah so there are some adjustments required right now in pisces spirit needs you to be mindful of what you're saying what you're speaking out what you're putting out into the universe here I need you to change your perspective, especially if you're still in this negativity and low vibration here. If you're wondering why things are not working, why, you know what I'm saying, everybody keeps saying it's going to happen, it's going to happen, and it's not happening for you, it's possibly because you're still holding on to things from the past. You're still saying that it ain't going to happen, it's not happening. That's exactly why it's not. So Spirit needs you to, to make some changes here. They need you to adjust. Release the negativity. Tell me more Pisces energy. And spirit needs for you to speak up. Communication is key. So maybe you need to speak your truth. Talk about how you feel so that you can let go of this and move on. Whatever the negative energy is that you're holding on to right now. Could be dealing with a Gemini. There could be a Gemini or a Scorpio that you may be having some type of conflict or difficulty with here. Um, and maybe they want to talk to you. Maybe they want to get past whatever the negativity is. Confirmation again, ding dong. Um, they may want to make some changes when it comes to this friendship, this family ship, this relationship. But Spirit says trust in the impossible. So for a lot of you guys, you're doubting, you're doubting that whatever it is can work out for you because it's different for everybody what you're wanting, what you're trying to manifest, but you keep doubting it. 
and it, when it's not happening in the time you feel like it's supposed to happen, then you're like, oh, see, I said it wasn't going to happen. It never going to happen. It don't happen for me. My shit's always fucked up. That's that negativity you need to release. You keep speaking it into existence. You have to change that train of thought. You have to change that perspective, babies. Trust in the impossible. Trust that God got you. Faith is about things unseen. You got to believe it before you see it. But you also got to put the work in. Faith without work is dead. Yeah, spirits say work through your fears. Work through those fears. You can't have faith without fear. That's how you know you have faith because the fear is there and you still work through it. No one is absent of the fear. It's just you when you have faith and you know that God got you, that fear don't stop you. That's Scorpio energy again. Spirit says right now is a time to give rather than to take. So someone may want to come in and give to you. Our spirit may be saying you need to give your time, your energy, instead of trying to take from someone here or something. Hmm. But spirit does say your hard work is paying off. Capricorn energy, okay? They need you to step out of your comfort zone. Confirmation again, ding dong. They need you to stand up, step out your comfort zone. They need you to start working on changing your perspective. When the little devil come and tap you on your shoulder, tell the devil you're a lie. God say I win. When you start having doubts, when you start feeling insecure, when you start speaking those things, because a lot of you are speaking this negative energy. Um, just know that it slows down your process. It slows down what you have coming in. And if you don't never get off that cycle, it can stop you and keep you stuck. Spirit says you need to forgive. You need to work on forgiveness here, Pisces. So forgiving yourself, forgiving those around you, forgiving those who have hurt you, dogged you out, did you wrong. Spirit needs you to focus on your self-esteem. Heal. Somebody could have made you feel low, made you feel like you weren't shit. But you have to let go of that energy because you're not what somebody else's opinion is of you. Remember, Pisces, everybody got opinions. They're like assholes. They all full of shit. Okay, so only opinion that matters is yours and God's. Remember that you've learned your worth or you're in the process of learning your worth. You've been through the lessons. Some of you guys are smack dab in them right now. It's time to release negativity. Yeah, see, you keep feeling like you're going to be a failure. And this is why things are not working out for you. Because you keep feeling like you're not going to get or it's not going to happen for you. Like you're going to fail. You may have made mistakes in the past. That's all right. That's how you learn. Okay, you fall down, you get back up. Confirmation again, ding dong. It says, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So learn from your failures and keep moving on. Make some changes. And watch what you say. You may have doubts in relationships because of past failures here, guys, okay? You're afraid that a connection won't work out or you're afraid somebody's going to dog you out like they dogged you out in the past um, because you're still holding on to past negativity. For you guys to get this new relationship, everybody's hollering new, 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 new. But a lot of you are not ready for new. That's why you don't have a new right now. Not that you won't get the new, but you don't have the new. God has not sent the new in because you're still stuck in past energies. You're still upset. You're still hurt. You're still angry at how certain people treated you. And God's not going to send you anybody new so that you can fail at the situation or you can fuck somebody else up that's already been healed because you're not. You got to make some adjustments here, guys, especially if you want this new relationship. And this could be family, friends, a lover. 
This could be you stepping out, doing your own thing, and you're afraid you're going to fail. Yeah, there's a transformation that needs to be made here. Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So there are relationships that ended in the past so that you can have this new beginning. They came to teach you lessons. Take the lessons, baby, and move forward. Release them people that, that hurt you. Because contrary to what you want to believe, you ask these people to come hurt you before you ever got here. You signed a contract with these people to come and do this fucked up, dogged out shit to you. It was so that you could learn these lessons. It's so that you could go through the spiritual transformation. And they came and did exactly what they were supposed to do. They, they fulfilled their part of the contract. And now they've moved on to fulfill the contract with somebody else, somewhere else. Spirit needs you to change the way you look at it. They didn't come dog you out because they dogged you out. They came to dog you out so that you can raise your vibration. And I know it sounds fucked up, but it's the truth. It's so that you can heal. So that you don't have to repeat this same cycle in your next life. So instead of being angry at these people, upset at these people, say thank you. Thank you for the lessons that you've learned and move forward. And as you walk into your next relationship, you know what to look for. You know what not to do. You know when you see the red flags to run. You know to use your discernment. You know to trust your intuition. And this is all because of past relationships. But if you're so afraid that the next person is going to dog you out like the past person dogged you out, you're never going to get this new relationship. you got to make a change. Clear if I believe in the impossible. Yeah. If you want this freedom, this brand new beginning, you got to let go of the regret. you got to let go of the things from the past. You cannot change what happened in the past. Forgive yourself. Not listening to your intuition. Not, not using discernment. Not paying attention to the red flags or ignoring the red flags. Trying to change somebody when you know you can't change them. Whatever the case may be. Forgive yourself here, Pisces, okay? Confirmation again. Ding dong. So that you can be free from this past so that you can have this brand new beginning. I can't make it up. There's no forgiveness at the bottom of the deck again. Forgive yourself. And I know this is not an easy journey or an easy process. But you're not alone. Your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guys, they got your back here, honeys, okay? God got your back. The universe got your back. Your hard work is paying off. Or your hard work will pay off if you have not done the work yet. That's why your hard work is paying off. Yeah. It's this health. So I feel like um, maybe you could be working on your health. Maybe this is less stress because you've released these things. You could be stressing and speaking shit and it could be affecting your health. It says, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. I see you loving you, pouring into you, giving to you. And that hard work will pay off. Releasing these things that people did, going through the transformation, doing the work. It will pay off. Good, baby. And it's going to pay off with abundance. You are a limitless being. And you can manifest whatever you desire in this physical reality. It's yours. You have everything you need. You've gotten past the adversity. I accept that challenges are, excuse me, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And this is why you went through the challenges. It was so that you could learn these lessons, so that you could raise your vibration, so that you don't have to go through it in the next lifetime. There was something, a part of your spiritual journey that needed to be healed, worked on, released, cleared out, whatever the case may be. And these people from your past that dogged you out, did you wrong, you asked them to. So now spirit needs you to release the anger, the hurt, the fear that somebody's going to dog you out again. Trust babies. Trust God. Okay. 
trust that your intuition will go off if somebody is doing you wrong. You just can't ignore it. You can't ignore it. You gotta, you know, pay attention. When God say run, run. If they say sit down and be still, sit down and be still. Pisces. Pisces, we really need to know for their greatest and highest good this time. Any final information? Baby, you're beautiful. You're handsome. Be confident. 17 makes an 8. 8 talks about abundance. You are abundant. Huh. You're abundant in God's favor. You're abundant in finances. You're abundant in um, just life overall here. You're beautiful, you're handsome, you're confident, you're creative. Oh shit, cards are falling. Yeah, you got family and a soul tribe around here. Okay, baby, so don't worry. Your, your family and your tribe got your back. Your ancestors, your, your, your spirit guys, they got your back. You're not alone. And somebody may find you beautiful or handsome as well. Spirit says, take off your mask. Stop hiding. Shh, shh. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know the babies. They on summer break. So they walk in. They just start talking. Spirit says, take your mask off. Stop hiding. Okay? Stop hiding. Get from behind this doubt. Get from behind this fear. Get from behind these insecurities that somebody's going to dog you out again. Whatever it is that you're still holding on to. But you're holding on to it from past relationships. Can I find this death here, Holy Spirit? Uh-oh. Here was something. Spirit says, pay attention to the signs. Like I said, there will be warning before destruction. So if you meet somebody new, if you're moving forward, there will be a warning if something is off, if something's not right. The red flag, the spidey sense, the little tingling, it ain't going to go away. So pay attention. Trust it. Be patient with yourself here, honeys. 23 is a 5. Oh, we got um 10, which is a 1, which is a new beginning. We have 11, which is 2, which talks about coming together here. And then the last one says, have faith. I told you. 22. You may be seeing 222. You may be seeing 1111. You may be seeing 555, 111, 888. The Spirit says, have faith. Trust, Pisces, that everything is going to work out for you. You doing your part, God and the universe is going to do their part. You're looking for love. You want a new beginning. You got to heal the past. You can't go into it still angry or afraid that what happened in the past is going to happen again. Because it puts you on a defensive mode and you're going to put off on somebody else that hasn't done anything to you and you're going to run away your person. If this is a career or starting a new job, Spirit says have faith. Don't be afraid of failure. Take the leap of faith. Your hard work will pay off. But you got to put the work in. And you got to trust that God got you. Can't speak negativity into it. Whatever adjustments need to be made, say you did something in the past, it didn't work out, make the adjustments and move forward. You're going through a transformation period right now, Pisces. Huh, I can't make it up. And you got help from above. Spirit say you sexy too. You may need to go out there and get some sex too. But sex wise, somebody finds you very attractive, alluring here, Pisces, man or woman. 
But some of you still have a hole in your soul. Because you have not healed it. You may have moved on from this person. And you may say you forgave them or you're not tripping or you know you're over it. But as soon as you get in a connection with somebody else, all the things that happened in the past relationship, you start thinking it's going to happen in this relationship. And as soon as you start thinking it and speaking it into existence, that's what happens. It fucks up. But it's not because of the, the necessarily the person. It's because you're going to run the person off because you're still holding on to past connections. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm trying to explain it the best I can, babies. So I'm going to get you some spirit messages for this, guys. And I'll put some zodiac signs. And then we'll close this one out. Pisces energy. Spirit messages. What does my Pisces need to know right now? For their greatest and highest good. Advice for Pisces. When it comes to this particular read. I heard three cards. So I'll pull three. Three cards of advice for Pisces. When it comes to this particular read. What does Pisces need to know? That was two. They gave us four. I'll take it. Okay, so the bottom of the deck says, count all of your blessings, even the small ones. Show gratitude and appreciation for all that you have in your life and all that has yet to come into it. Your best days are still ahead of you. Isn't that a wonderful thought? Like I said, you're, you're, you're not done. Okay, you're just getting started your Pisces. Your best days are ahead of you. They just need you to release this negativity. Get out of that negative energy, the negative thoughts. Stop speaking it into existence. And then once it comes, you say, you say, yeah, see, I knew it was going to happen like that. I knew I wasn't going to get this. I knew it wasn't going to happen. But you're the one who kept saying it wasn't going to happen. That's why it didn't happen. You told the universe you didn't want it by saying it didn't, it wasn't going to happen. Or it's never coming. Or it don't happen for you. Or, you know, whatever the, the, the negative ass shit is that you say. Because everybody's shit is different. But understand that every time you say that negative shit. Every time you speak it, every time you think it, it tells the universe not to give it to you. And then you get stuck in that cycle. Uh, it ain't never going to happen. And then when it don't happen, because you said it wasn't going to happen. See, I knew it wasn't going to happen. It don't never happen for me. Shit don't never work out for me. You know why? Because you're always pessimistic. And it's not your fault. Our society is based on fear. Our society is based on staying low vibrational. That's how they can control us. That's why you gotta change your perspective. That's why adjustments are acquired. I mean, required, not acquired, required. You gotta break out of the 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 uh, the matrix. Okay, babies. The next one I have for you is: If you are noticing changes within, it's because you're leaving the old version of yourself behind. You are elevating and shedding excuse me, unnecessary layers. Old cycles are ending. A new beginning is on the horizon. You deserve this new chapter. So like I said, y'all have a new beginning. You're going through a transformation right now, Pisces. But I need you to leave the negativity behind. No matter what happens, I need you to leave the negativity behind. Some of you, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny or speak anything. I don't want you to think it's negative. Some of you guys may be losing a job or moving from a job or moving from a house or a home. But it's not a bad thing. God is going to put you in a better position. But as soon as you start looking at it like your world is falling apart, your world is going to fall apart. I need you to look at it as God is doing something better for me. He is moving me for a reason. There is something I do not see. There is something that I do not know. I am being protected. Rejection is always for your protection. And go with the flow. Do what you're called to do. And watch how new job, new house, whatever, it just pops up very easily without any anything to block it because you're open and you're allowing God to work. But as soon as you start saying, oh, shit, how I'm going to pay the bill, how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that, it's going to slow and block up everything, okay? I have self-awareness is key. Take time today to go within and spend time with your soul. Go for a walk in nature and ground yourself. Meditate. Listen to your favorite music. Whatever you enjoy most, do that today. I've gotten that a couple times for you guys, Pisces. So it says, um, 
if you pay close attention, you will notice all the doors that once closed are opening up. Then I say somebody's doors may be closing, the job or how something may be closing, but it's finna open up for something different. You're going through a transformation, but it's opening up just in a different form. Things may not appear exactly as you had envisioned, but they're appearing for your greatest and highest good. Okay, so things may not have went the way you exactly envisioned them to go, but things are going exactly how they're supposed to go for you. Okay, even if a door was closed, there is something opening up. I told you, I can't make this shit up. And the last one says, focus your mindset on what you can control instead of what you can't. The world is your oyster. Elevate your thought pattern so that you can attract abundance into your life. You are what you believe. Whole reading. Change what you think. Change what you speak. Elevate your thought pattern so that you can attract this abundance into your life. Okay? You're what you believe. So if you believe ain't shit gonna happen, guess what? Ain't shit ever gonna happen. And then you're gonna be sitting somewhere talking about all these terror readers. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. No, we know exactly what we're talking about. The real ones. And we're trying to help you get there. At least the real ones that really give a fuck. Everybody out here, you know what I'm saying? They, I've seen some shit, y'all, that I thought I would never see. My girl, Saving Grace, if y'all watch her, Saving Grace 999. Um, somebody literally has taken her voice, made it a man voice, and put it on top of another fucking video. And is making money off of her shit. That's, I mean, they are getting so creative with stealing our shit. You know? And it's fucked up because we work hard. And, you know, um... You know, it ain't going to take nothing out of her pocket. God got her, you know what I'm saying? But it's just fucked up that people are so low down that they just can't do their own shit. They want to take from us. They want to use our shit. If y'all know how many times I'm constantly blocking people on TikTok for stealing my pictures and putting my, my work back out. You know, it's, it's, it's sad. But if y'all happen to watch Saving Grace and y'all happen to come across, um, it's, it's called, oh shit, I forgot the name of the fucked up channel. Um... I think it's Third Eye Tarot 1. Um, if y'all come across it, go ahead and report them for her so they can get that shit down. And it's not just her channel. They're taking they're taking the sound from several different tarot readers and changing it to men's voices and then putting the videos back out and making money off of their hard work. This channel ain't been up but like five days, y'all. And they got 44.5 thousand viewers off of everybody else's that's really out here working hard work. Um, and if y'all happen to ever come across anybody that's using my stuff, please let me know. Please let me know. Report them. Um, sorry this video going so long. But we got Libra. We have Aquarius. Who is this Pisces video for? We have a Leo. We're going to say Scorpio for sure because Scorpio popped out a couple times. And then right as I said Scorpio, we got water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They are flying, y'all. We have Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have Cancer. We have Gemini. We have Sagittarius. Capricorn. And Aries. Bottom of the deck, there you go, Pisces. On the cut, we have Fire, Leo, Aries, Sag. So if this resonates with you guys, let me know. Um... Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. If you guys need like advice on how to get out of that negative energy, how to change, I do have on my site where it's called like a vent session or spiritual consultation where I can help you get through or give you some exercises and things to do to help you release this negative energy, babies, okay? So that you can manifest this abundance into your life in all areas, okay? So if it resonates, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. As always, my loves. You keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my fishy babies.